All right, thank you, Preston. I sure appreciate you bringing us up to speed on all of that. And now we start our local news this morning with a controversial debate over parental rights in schools. Another lawsuit has been filed over a parent's right to be notified by schools if their child identifies as transgender. Now California voters might have a chance to vote on a ballot initiative, although backers of the initiative are suing the attorney general over what California voters will actually see printed on their ballot. Our Manasadek. Zinchiko with the latest round of the legal battle. It's ridiculous. It's a total joke. And frankly, I'm shocked. He should be ashamed of himself. Backers of a controversial ballot proposal are blasting California Attorney General Rob Bonta after his office released the official title and summary of the initiative. It reads, restricts the rights of transgender youth. It would require all California school districts to notify parents if their child might be transgender. A group called Protect Kids California announcing a lawsuit this week to challenge the attorney general's wording. They need their parents. To isolate them from their parents is to do harm. The proposal follows the case of Aurora Regino, a Chico Unified mother who sued her daughter's school district after she says they kept her child's new gender identity a secret from her. One of her attorneys speaking to KRCR saying the phrasing of the initiative proposal is designed to dissuade voters. It's, it's clearly designed to make it harder for the signature gatherers to gather signatures. It's clearly designed to sway voters away from voting in favor of the initiative if it does make the ballot. It's laughable. LGBTQ advocacy group Equality California praising the attorney general's office, saying any parental notification law would be dangerous to transgender youth. It states plainly exactly what our opponent is trying to do, um, restricting the right of transgender youth. And so especially as, you know, our opponents are gathering signatures, um, you know, they're not able to fleece um, the average voter in terms of what they're trying to do in the cloak of what they're calling parental rights. The proposal was cleared to start collecting signatures in November. They need more than 546,000 voter signatures to place it on the ballot.